If you guys are looking for a cheap and reliable place to get your FIFA Ultimate Team coins, check the link in the description and use the code ETANI to get 5% off. So guys, FIFA 17 has basically come to an end. FIFA 18 is actually officially released this month. So, perfect time to get prepared with FIFA points. Make sure you check out G2A. Links will be in the description. There is crazy offers right now on the website. Make sure you use my code ETANI to get a little discount. Um, I'm not sure how much I'll be spending, but... The first couple of days of FIFA is insane, it's crazy, so much coins to be made if you play your cards right. No one sees anything coming and no one sees what's going to be going up or down, so it's all basically assumptions and that's what I love about it because you take risks, sometimes they pay off a lot and sometimes you might lose a lot of money, so who knows what's going to happen in the first couple of days of FIFA 18. But this video isn't about FIFA 18. Now, I want to make a, a, a video in a couple of days, or maybe even tomorrow, about five mistakes I've done in FIFA 17, and I won't want to do them in FIFA 18. So let me know, would you, like, would, you, would you like to see something like that in the comments? So, the point of this video is to tell you about my top five strikers on FIFA 17. And I've asked you guys on Twitter to see what is um, the most... <laughs> popular opinion on the top five strikers that you guys have chosen and all I'm gonna say is a couple of names came up a lot but some of them don't I don't share the same opinion as a lot of people so let's see what happens first up we have uh, probably one of the best players I've used this year now this is in no particular order but he is so good at everything I've done he saved me so many times in the 90th minute and just everything about him, even outside the penalty area, is so dangerous, man. And that is no other than probably the best Premier League striker as well in, in, the, whole, in the whole thing. But the thing is, his top rated card is a center attack in mid. And we don't even have him because we had to sell him to make videos and so on. But it is Huming Son. He is one of the best players I've ever ever used this year and it's kind of disappointing to see that once we go into FIFA 18 he might not be as good who knows what's gonna happen what kind of rating is, is he gonna get so you change his position to a striker even with the high and high work rate I've been destroyed by Son I've been scoring with Son um, just annihilated with him uh, you've come up against the play of the month one so many times he is one of the best players you can use in this game. 94 pace, 93 dribbling, 95 shooting, uh, 87 physical with 92 passing with that 5 star weak foot, boys. I don't even know what foot he is in real life. Like, what foot does he prefer in real life? I don't think many people know. It says right foot, but I think in FIFA 14, EA had it as his left foot. So EA doesn't even know what foot Son actually prefers. That's what makes him have a 5-star weak foot when you don't know what foot he actually prefers. So the second player we are going to be choosing is a player that I actually have in my club, but I don't have his team of the season, and that is Lukaku. Lukaku is by far one of the best players I've ever used as a striker, and the reason for that is he fits my playstyle so, so nicely, and that is because of how strong he is, uh, towards the end of the year, he had so many uh, special cards that his stats were insane. And by the time the team of the season one came out, his shooting got capped. I mean, his physical in the game, even before his team of the season one, he had some crazy, crazy strength. And that is what you need in this game. Someone that could hold the ball. His strength is one of the best things about him because I think he's one of the only strikers that you could basically guarantee to win a one-on-one -on -one situation where you're battling it along the, alongside the center back and you're trying to push him off and he basically wins it 100% of the time for me. If you know how to use shielding properly, you could easily shove off a center back. And Lukaku, one of the strongest players, if not the strongest player in this game. I don't know what it is about him. He's fast enough to push off the center backs. He's strong enough to uh, push off the center backs and everything about him, his left foot is so deadly he also has a four star weak foot so that is insane for someone that is left footed he's right footed as well basically um, not going to be as strong when it comes down to his right foot he's six foot three this guy's got the whole package for a striker 
and it just makes the Premier League one of the best, if not the best league to use in FIFA 17. Now it wouldn't be a top 5 strikers video if I didn't include Dries Mertens. If you watched all my Mertens videos, I think I've made like, well with all these strikers, I think I've made so many videos on every single one. I think I've made the most on Mertens or Son, right? Mertens, every single video, we score some spectacular goals with him. I don't know what it is about him, but the way I play with him, the no-touch dribbling with him, because of how short he is, because of how agile he is, it makes him the best striker to use if that's the kind of playstyle you go for. And again, he fits as a centre attacking mid, a striker, uh, even, even you could use him as a central mid. This guy fits anywhere, but he will definitely be wasted in midfield. And at the same time, he has high low work rates. Now, he is weak, but because of how crazy his ball control is, it's so hard to get the ball off him. And his reactions are so fast. Four-star weak foot, four-star skills. This guy does filter out a lot of players, uh, a lot of playstyles, sorry. But if you know how to use him, then he could be very dangerous in the right hands. 99 pace, 98 dribbling, 98 shooting, 97 passing, and 80 physical, and probably one of the best team of the season cards you could get your hands on. Um, Martins, man. I think a lot of people actually enjoyed my videos when it came down to trying out this Mertens because they loved the way I used him and some of the some of the goals we scored with him very far out some incredible goals and finesse shots we scored um, penalties we scored free kicks we scored finesse shots we scored so many crazy goals even AIDS goals with this Mertens everything about him is just very special our fourth player to join the ranks is Cristiano Ronaldo. Now you can't make a top strikers video without including Ronaldo. It doesn't matter about the value of these players. These are the top five strikers I've actually used. Um, so Ronaldo probably feels like the most unique player in FIFA every single time you play FIFA. His shooting is very unique. It dips when you shoot with him. The way he runs is unique. Everything about this player is unique and it does like his price even when you look at his price is very different to certain players and when you use him in game he feels a lot different to so many players. He's strong, he's an aerial threat, he's so fast, he's got crazy shooting on him, and his shots, like I said, very unique, a way that EA programmed how he shoots, and you could definitely see that in the game, and that is why in so many pro squads, you will see, like, even competitive gaming, that he, this guy is in every single squad. He's so good, and definitely deserves to be that rating. Like, you, if you're buying a 98 rated card, you want to feel like he's a 98 rated card and Ronaldo, not much to say about him. I mean, you if you guys watch competitive FIFA on Twitch or when FIFA Interactive World Cup was happening, this guy was pretty much everywhere. So, um, fourth place goes to Cristiano Ronaldo. Now, final player to show you my top five is going to be... It's gonna be Daniel Sturridge. Now hit me out before before you're like, what? How can you pick Daniel Sturridge to be top five strikers in FIFA 17? Every time I actually try out a Premier League player that I want to make a video on, Daniel Sturridge, I try to fit him in because the way he plays, that just really fits my playstyle. And for how much he costs, he is so effective in this game. So so good. Very fast. Uh, strong enough as well. 70 physical is a bit. Um, of an understatement in the stats, I feel like he's a lot stronger than that. He has decent dribbling, 81 dribbling feels a lot better in game. Just, I think Sturridge has been a very good player in every single FIFA since he came onto the scene. Now, um, in this one, I really enjoy using him. Maybe not many people have seen him this year, but for how much you pay for him, he is so good. And let me just, uh, I think the two-star weak foot does put off a lot of people, but I try to look, I try to look past that just because of how good he is for me. Um, a very good uh, striker overall. Three Premier League players, uh, three Premier League strikers is in my are in my selection, and that just shows how strong the Premier League is in FIFA 17. Will it be the same in FIFA 18 with all these transfers and so on and so forth? Who knows? But I could definitely see the Premier League being again a very overpowered league. 
but it all comes down to player stats and so on in the next FIFA and to see how um, what kind of mechanics you can abuse and that's what kind of team you're gonna have to build around now I would like you guys to tell me in the comment section below your top five strikers in FIFA 17 and also please hit the like button and let me know if you would like me to um, make the top five biggest biggest mistakes I've done in FIFA 17 that I don't want to do in FIFA 18 let me know in the comment section below hopefully you enjoyed this video hopefully um, uh, you guys you kind of agree with my selection it is my own opinion these are the top five plays I've used most um, in FIFA 17 and the ones I've had the most fun the ones I found the most effective so hopefully you enjoyed it hit like button if you guys did and hopefully you have a very nice day